getting lost in a man. We're not doing that in 2023. We are not. Hey, hey, it is Victoria, Victoria. Today's video, guys, I want to hop straight into it and talk about what has been plaguing me for a minute. We haven't done a girl talk in a while and this has been heavy on my heart and that is getting lost in a man. We're not doing that in 2023. We are not. I'm seeing it so much in my friends right now. And honestly, it is just so disheartening to witness. Here's my thing. I feel like all relationships are some form of compromise. He's gonna have to compromise, you're gonna have to compromise, and you guys cultivate a healthy relationship together so that you guys can coexist and get along. That's what a relationship is all about. It's about compromise, it's about give and take. That is normal. Where I grow serious concern is when you're no longer compromising and you're sacrificing yourself like actually sacrificing who you are as a person and you're doing this just to make the relationship work, just to appease the other person in the relationship. And that is so unhealthy. You just really start to lose yourself and strip away at who you are as a person just for the sake of a relationship. It's such a fine line between compromise and sacrifice that a lot of people don't even realize that that's what they're doing. But I see that happening so much with women. Like even if you've been in a relationship for a while, you can still sacrifice yourself entirely too much even more so than in the beginning of the relationship because now it's happening over a long period of time and parts of you have just been slowly stripping away and to the point where you're unidentifiable to your friends or family and I've seen that happen in real time with my friends because what happens is they're trying so hard to maintain the relationship that they are willing to give up different parts of themselves just to make that relationship work. For example, let's say that the guy that you are with doesn't like a particular type of clothing, even though the clothing is not too provocative, he just doesn't like it and the woman just gives that up. That is not a compromise, that is a sacrifice because that is who you are, your personal sense of style that you're giving up just to make this man happy. Like another example of a sacrifice that I see often is when women are typically social people and they love to hang out, they love to go to parties, they like to hang out with their friends, but when they get in a relationship that their significant other doesn't like them being so social so then they have to withdraw from being with their friends they have to suppress bits and pieces of themselves and after that's been done for so long how much of yourself is actually left i've seen friends try to take on characteristics of their spouse or their significant other because they love football now now they have to love football and it's not really who they are they are just sacrificing so much of them just to make the other person happy and that is just so unhealthy you have to stay true to who you are or you won't have anything to give and what happens too is when those relationships don't work out I I truly believe this is how the serial monogamous is created because when that relationship doesn't work out and that man leaves you or you choose to leave the man for whatever reason but typically he leaves you then you are then left feeling so vulnerable and lonely and lost because your identity has been suppressed so much that your new identity is that man so not only did he leave you he took your identity with him and so you're left there not knowing who you are and what should be done at this particular stage is you should be working on yourself dating yourself romanticizing yourself getting to know yourself reestablishing who you are deep down to your core so you could go to the next relationship but what often happens instead without any healing at all you hop right back to the next relationship 
because you want to feel whole again and you have to fill that void. So you go to the next relationship, a half of a person, not even really sure who you are anymore, and you're presenting who knows who to this next guy because who are you exactly? Do you even know? Because I don't know. Do you know? Because I don't know. Do you know? But you're presenting yourself to this guy at such a weakened and vulnerable state. You're now morphing into whoever he is even further sacrificing and compromising with this guy even more of yourself and now less and less and less of you is present like who are you anymore at this point and now that you're with this guy at this vulnerable state you're so malleable i feel like this is when a man can easily start to manipulate and to control what you're allowing to happen is for people to strip bits and pieces of you away until there's no you left what i would just like to get across in this video even if you are in a relationship right now and you notice that you are depressed sad you don't you feel demotivated or unmotivated or you just simply just don't feel like yourself it's probably because you're not yourself it's probably because you're lost in your relationship and it's probably um, it's super important for you to reestablish some boundaries right now in your relationship and regain your own power and being who you are it's never too late to do that and if you are going through a breakup right now please take this time to be alone this is the time that you get to reestablish who you are as an individual. This is the time where you get to heal and pick up the pieces that has been stripped away from you. This is the time where you get to rediscover what it is that you like. Maybe you like some new things. Really sit back and take that time to be alone without any without dating at all even if it's just for like a three month period so you could just be you and whole again before entering another relationship so that's all i'm saying it's so easy to get lost in men and not just women getting lost in men but this is a a, a girl channel <laughs> but if you feel that you are getting lost in relationships or you haven't noticed that you've been getting lost in relationships if you felt anything that i said if that reminded of you of you in any way then this is your sign so please girl please stop getting so lost in men please just be who you are don't try to sacrifice to just to make a man happy if he doesn't appreciate you for who you are that ain't for you it's time for you to move on i love you guys i will see you guys in the next video please follow me on instagram my instagram is at a underscore beauty underscore bees if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video back in that back in that bag again whoa oh yeah yeah